Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Botrix here, back with yet another banger. We got some BFE Coliseum boost only, so let's hop right in today's video, okay? I've got to get on my grind, boys, for the daily content. I'm trying, I really am. Sometimes it's a little bit hard uh, just because I record these videos really late sometimes and just sometimes I'm not feeling it, all right? If we're being honest, but we're back at it, okay? And today's video is gonna be freaking lit. So if you are in fact new, make sure y'all click that subscribe button right now. And also I to drop a like on today's video. It's gonna be a banger, okay? IDC bots is our first opponent. 190,000th global ranking. That is that is uh, pretty high, okay? Pretty, pretty high for sure. Ghost of Coast is gonna be the map. Um, I actually don't mind this map at all, but I'm going to be skipping it, okay, because I mostly go Boat Wiz or Boat Boomer. Let's try something different, okay? Battle Sands, though. See, this is a Dart Wiz map for me. Oh, he's going to be skipping it anyway. Concrete Alley. This is what I like to see, okay? I'm actually feeling like going with the Eco, okay? We're going to be doing that, boys. We're going to be going Ninja Ice Sub, okay? This strategy is actually really not too bad, um, and a lot of people don't know how OP it can actually be. Of course, we're going to have double stalling within the strategy because we have the ninja with the sabotage supply line um, ability, of course. And then also we have the ice stalling ability. And now too, the Arctic wind, actually the 4-2, I think, affects camo balloons, which is pretty sick. Although we already do have the sub, so we won't have to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty new cool feature. Oh, he's starting off with the sub too. Maybe he's also going eco. There's no way. We might just be going epic late game, boys. Okay, so let's... Freaking it, get him, boys. Goodbye, so we shall be win. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off immediately with these reds. He also is okay. So, yes, we're both going eco. There's no way. Most players just, I don't know. I feel like they just don't eco on this map. Uh, but it looks like this is what's gonna be happening. Okay, so as long as he does not have the super monkey within the strategy, we should be able to win this game. Um, he did actually stop though with the reds, so maybe he's not ecoing. Maybe he just really wanted to force the airburst starts upgrade on our side. And he also had to upgrade to the airburst starts himself because if he didn't, then I would have been able to send him a lot of reds and he would have leaked down probably to like 70 ish lives. And some players just don't like that, okay? Which is understandable, but I feel like you should just tank them in my opinion. And yeah, he is farming, okay? So, all right, scratch that with him going Nico. He is in fact farming, but we're just gonna mind our own business, continue on with the eco, and we're gonna stop ecoing at around round eight. Okay, so we don't want to over eco, especially in boost only because our power combination is with the default powers. Okay, the default powers, they're they're better than nothing, but they're not that good. Okay, so I wouldn't heavily rely off of them. We could easily, and when I say easily, I mean easily die on round 13 if he decides to send an all out boosted regen rainbow rush. Okay, the regrow on the balloons is absolutely insane. And I uh, definitely can get through. So hopefully he does not decide to do that. We also are on very, very good pace currently with this eco. And it looks like he wants to build up more defenses, okay? And he probably doesn't have enough money to send me any balloons anyway. And I'm saying this because he could easily send me greens right now. And I would have to probably build up another tower, okay? Because look at his side, boys. We both have a sub and he actually has now two air burst starts, but uh, he still was leaking lives, okay? So definitely we're gonna have to get up more defenses if he sends us a lot of greens. Hopefully he doesn't though. Currently at 510 Eco towards the beginning of round seven, which is very, very good pace. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to stop right here, actually, uh, in case he wants to send us a round eight rush, because he most definitely could. And uh, that would be very, very bad if we were not prepared, because we need at least two airboat starts in order to defend. And we probably are going to have to on top of that boost. Uh, so let's just hope that he's not going to do that. Uh, but I'm going to save up all the money I can. And oh, yep. Okay, so kind of spoken into existence. All good, though. Uh, let's just get this double airboat start up. And uh, he didn't send too many. Okay, so didn't need a boost, though. That's good. I'm going to start uh, preparing for our reactor, which I like to have it right about here in the middle, of course. So let's get that. Awesome. And it's about $2,800 for the reactor upgrade. Okay, so we probably only need to sell one of these herbal starts. We'll keep the other just to have some extra popping power uh, for round 15 ceramics and whatnot, because those can be kind of annoying and frustrating to defend against. Uh, but yeah, okay, we're looking solid, boys. There we go with that reactor, 530 eco, just saving up every single penny we got, okay? Now you're gonna send him a letter or anything, e even though we easily could right now because he has no lead detection, but I won't even waste my money, boys. I won't even waste it. Oh, should I waste it? Dude, that's kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go back on that. He has still yet to upgrade to that reactor. I just want him to sell like an airburst starts or something. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, he just sold one and there he goes with the reactor. Okay, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to force that upgrade right there, boys. Uh, so we got $3,000. So if necessary, we probably could actually afford a balloon jitsu if he does want to commit to all eye on us. So that's good. 
Uh, but let's just see what he does here, boys. Mm, so far, we're chilling. Okay. Good, good sign. So, looks like he won't be all adding us. Yeah, okay. He's going to start building up more farms. So, I'm going to start Space Eco in a little bit here. And uh, we're going to start to send him some tanks over top as well to start around 14, okay? Because we need to start getting up this Eco as quickly as we possibly can now. And we got a lot of money to send these pinks for a minute, okay? Also, though, we have to watch out for the Ceramic on the next upcoming round, okay? A single Airburst starts probably won't be able to fully defend against it. So, should be a little bit cautious and wary about that. Uh, but ultimately, we should be good, okay? I'm going to set this to Strong, actually, now so we can focus on that Ceramic Balloon. And uh, we'll get up a 0, zero Ninja right here as well just to have... Um, and we should be good, okay? But uh, let's continue with these pinks. Let's see. Okay, he did send us some pinks. Oh, yep, there was a ceramic in there. There was, in fact, a ceramic. Uh, gonna be able to defend that, though. With almost no lives lost, our 0, zero Ninja is not gonna be able to keep us at 150 lives. All good, though. But 977 Eco, very, very, very good pace, okay? So couldn't be more happy. Could not be more happy, boys. And we're gonna try to get up to like 1100 Eco because he is going for the Republic. So that tells me, you know, when he's building up farms, that tells me he's not going to be aggressive because he's trying to put his money back into his farms rather than spending that money on rushing us. Okay, so yeah. 1142 Eco, though. Going to stop right here. He also, in fact, has a ninja. Okay, ninja sub farm is a viable strategy for sure. Uh, but our strategy is going to be a little bit better, especially with our double Stalin. If he decides to at any point all out us, like late, and when I say late, I mean like round 40 plus, we can easily counter and just outstall him. So... That will be the plan, boys. That will 100% be the plan. And since he is going with the strategy, he knows that he can't all out us like round like 25 or anything like that because we can just one pop his entire rush with a single first strike ability. So he won't be doing that. Uh, but I am going to be upgrading to a balloon jutsu. I'll just have it on the map right now, okay? Just so we can uh, have that. We probably should have been spaced ecoing this entire time too. Uh, but it's all good, okay? Got $3,000 to spare in case he wants to send us a BFB. He might not, though. I'm surprised he still has yet to also go um, for his facility because he easily could at this point. And right now, by the way, too, he could easily send us a rush right now because of these AI LEDs. And it would actually be kind of hard to defend, okay? But thankfully, he didn't. He's just Republic spamming. No, you need to go for the facility. No, he's been playing so good. It's just that his farm game right now is, no, it's not looking too good because he could have easily went for the facility. I don't know what he's doing, man. I have no idea, but I'm going to start to send constant pinks here and uh, let's see if it pays off, okay, because I just don't see this guy being aggressive. He really hasn't been. Yeah, he's finally going to go for that facility. Dude, you had plenty of money to go for that facility. You did not need to sell those farms, but I guess we won't complain, boys. He even also went for a balloon jitsu when he didn't really need to. Oh my goodness, okay, so like when you don't need to upgrade, like I get preparing for certain rounds and rushes and whatnot, but like he had no issues with defending the AI currently, so he just did not need to upgrade. And also since I am ecoing, I am more inclined to not be aggressive towards him because that's just going to deplete my eco. Like if I send him a BFB or anything like that, it just, it's going backwards, you know, when you're going eco. I did not mean to send the space lads, by the way. <laughs> it's all good though. Um, but yeah, it's kind of backwards, so you should assume that an eco player is not going to rush you, so you just don't have to over defend. I mean, you know, always be cautious and have a little bit of money saved up, but dude, definitely did not need that balloon jitsu um, at round 19 or whatever round he upgraded that. Round 22, though, that's a different story because it's about to be uh, ceramics and whatnot coming out of the AI, so I guess that balloon jitsu would now be worth it. Uh, but yeah, a few rounds ago, it was not. Okay, so we do have the distraction and whatnot on that. Hopefully, that's going to be able to fully defend it. Actually, that was a lot of ceramics right there. Oh my gosh, wait, what did he do? Oh, he's sending me a ZOMG, there's no way! You're going ninja sub! You know! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna have stall this, of course. I'm gonna go for a quick balloon jitsu, and all we gotta do is just save up as much money as we possibly can, or to eventually afford this first strike ability. It is 20k, okay, but we got 2500 eco. Like, we're gonna get this in no time, and we're gonna be able to one pop it. I am so shocked that he actually sent us this. Very, very shocked. Like, dude, he's going ninja sub. You should know how OP the first strike ability is, you know? I don't really know why I stalled either. I really didn't need to. Like, okay, after this uh, next income boost comes in, I'm just going to sell this to do this and then that. Okay, like, I don't know what his game plan was right there. He's going to give us a well done. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. But what were you thinking, dude? Like, the first strike ability. If you guys don't know about the first strike ability, hopefully... You learn something right there because it is quite OP. One shot ZOMGs, not forever, okay? ZOMGs do eventually get stronger, but it's gonna be able to one pop a ZOMG on round 22 for sure. 
Uh, but anyways, we do have two Balloon Jutsus. Hopefully, that will be enough to defend against all of these ceramics. Uh, usually, it is, especially with a reactor in the back. That should be able to clean that all up. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, what the? What the? What the? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so let me explain what just happened. He was sending me LEDs as the AI ceramics were coming out. And if you don't know about the LEDs, I had no LED popping power besides my reactor, okay? So if any of those ceramics happened to get through that reactor, I, I just would not be able to pop the ceramics because they would be layered over top of those LEDs and the Balloon Jutsus can't pop LEDs. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but as he was doing that to us, he just did not realize that his current defenses could not defend against round 24 AI, which honestly is kind of shocking. He has two air burst starts and a Balloon Jutsu. Yeah, that was kind of crazy, okay? But... GG is only man. I feel like I explained so much during this game, so hopefully you learned something new. Uh, but I'm gonna hop into another game, so I will catch y'all there. Alright boys, so we are back with the next one, S2 RDM. I already know this guy's good, okay? I remember this guy's name, I recognize it, um, and usually he is pretty good. Oh, <laughs> he's ranked number one in the world, okay, and number two on the prestige. Wow, what a bot. I'm kidding, okay. This guy's really, really good, so hoping for a fun field match. He's gonna be skipping interchange, okay, so wow, what a switch up, boys indoor pools absolutely not absolutely not let's hope for something better please 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 water hazard okay i'll, I'll take this 100 percent. so i'm not going to go the same strategy that I just went because the reactor is not as good on this map so i'm going to kind of play it a little bit safer this time around boys i think i'm just going to go boat whiz okay because i think i'm confident enough that i can hit defend an all out round 13 if he wants to send me that he might just do that too because he is grinding he's going for the quick and easy wins so i'll be very cautious of that but without further ado, let's freaking get it, boys. Goodbyes, and we shall do win. Okay, so I think too. Didn't I just upload like a number one video where I went against the number one player? Maybe this was him. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but we gotta win, okay? We've got to win this game. It's a must win. So yeah, we're gonna be starting off with that farm right there, okay? And uh, we're gonna be upgrading to the Morbid Endos in our farm. He is also going to be doing the same exact thing, okay? Well done, well done. Uh, we'll send him a little bit of eco his way. And uh, we'll just be tanking those lives. He's going to be sending us some eco too. Okay, so we're going to be able to afford this boat right now. So let's get that on the map. Well done. And um, we're going to just be tanking these lives here. Okay, because yeah, we're freaking $11 short. Are you serious? That kind of sucks. <laughs> that does suck. All good though. Okay, we're going to be leaking a few more lives than him. It looks like. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, we're at 123. He's at 130. Um, so yeah um space pinks okay space pinks are kind of gonna be a pain so i'm gonna put this bad boy on close right now just so we have that because i feel like that is the best targeting for the spaced eco uh, but i'm gonna try to save up for this plantation here yeah it looks like he's not gonna be aggressive nor am i so we're just both gonna be going for the plantation here there we go pretty much tied within the farms awesome you love to see it boys but the deciding factor of how this game goes is if he's going with the wizard or the boomer Okay, because the boomer just tells me essentially he can defend against any mid game rush okay but with the wizard it's a little bit trickier and i i say that before this game started but if he is going with the wizard i will consider rushing him around 13. it's just so hard to defend it really is uh but let's send him some space blacks here he's going to be doing the same exact thing okay so we do need to go for the fastest shooting also probably another boat i won't even lie so yeah i'm going to do that right now he's also going to be going for another boat with a grape shot too okay so i guess i'll just copy him <laughs> because it looks like i don't know it kind of looked like we didn't need a grape shot this freaking faster shooting boat is going in right now but i guess we'll just keep that okay he decided to stop sending um those and uh yeah i guess we're both vibing right now okay so we're gonna go for this double plantation here at probably 224 so there we go with that yep still tied within the farms awesome and uh, we're pretty much tied within the eco, too. I mean, he might be a little bit ahead. It's not a big deal, though. And uh, we have a slight freaking life advantage. Eight lives. Let's go. <laughs> Obviously, that does not matter at all. But what matters is that we're going for another 1-0 farm. Okay, so let's go over that. He also went for his well done. Okay, I kind of don't like my farm positioning because I always just mess up with this <laughs> farmer spot. But it's no big deal. Okay, so we both kind of have a decent amount of money. So that's kind of scary because like it's going to be easier to defend against mid-game rushes with just more money, obviously. Uh, but we're going to send him a lead his way. Yeah, I kind of expected him to greed for this uh, farm, which I'm going to do the same exact thing. So I don't even care. Uh, so let's do mortar? Mortar! There's no way. There's just no way. He's going mortar, boys. That is the last tower I would expect him to go. 
Wow, that is actually insane. That's insane, boys. Okay, okay. So we, we, got, we got a chance here, boys. We got a chance. So I'm going to go for this Lightning right now, just so we can play a little bit safer. We're going to also put this on the first. Um, he has not upgraded to any more farms, so that tells me he might be... Oh, wait, nope. Okay, I'm going to send him a rush then on round 13. Um, decent amount of our Zebras in there, some Whites over top. And we're just really looking for a boost right here, boys, okay? Or some sort of upgrade. Let's see what happens. He's going to end up selling uh, one of those. I'm going to send a lot of pinks over top right here, boys. And uh, a lot of those should get around those bend. Oh, he ended up boosting. Okay, yes, let's go. Down to 40, 23. Okay, this is good. This is very, very good. He's going to give us... <laughs> He's gonna give us a face bomb. He was not happy about that. He was not happy about that. Okay, so hmm, I kind of want to re-rush, but also at the same time, should we? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna re-rush him finally, and uh, we're gonna be seeing what happens here. A couple of rainbows in there, whites over top, and then pinks. Let's see how he reacts to this. Okay, he's gonna have to get up a quick balloon buster. Let's see if he can defend, boys. It's gonna be kind of close. And he goes down. Let's freaking go! <laughs> Get it, boys! He did not expect that coming, and we just beat the number one player in the world. Everybody loses, boys. Even I do all the time. Uh, but wow, that was a great game. GG's only. No toxicity towards this guy. Um, and I think that's going to be wrapping up today's video because it is about 17 minutes long. So yeah, I hope you guys didn't bad enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on today's video if you did. It was a banger, I told y'all. And also, I had to make sure to click that subscribe button. All right, so the last question. I asked you guys in the last video was, what is the strategy that I always go on Mount Pass? And the answer is Boomer's by Battery Farm. All right, so this guy won. Congratulations, man. Dude, like, I'm, I'm not joking. That strategy is actually unstoppable on that map because having the spike factory just set up all the spikes in the back of the map is perfect for mobs, um, for potential mid-game rushes, you know. It's kind of like the shield power, all right? It, it saves you lives, for sure, if it gets past your uh, other towers in the front. But yeah. I would recommend y'all use it. Like, seriously. I know it sucks during the early game rounds, but once you get everything set up, it's freaking awesome, okay? So, yeah. Once again, congrats on the Shadow Brother, all right? So, the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, what was the prestige ranking of the number one player in the world? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys enjoy. Once again, it's been your Bobo Tricks, or Justin. Peace out, everybody.